Hey guys, big update here. I know the world is falling apart. You know, for example, just last week, it seemed people would thank you for sneezing directly into their face. We still weren't flushing our ripped t-shirts down the toilets. Then state and local governments are forcing us to violate our sacred oaths to our benevolent corporate overlords with mandatory family time. But let me share some good news for a change. I found a wallet I like. Then depending on how much social contact you've had, maybe you're ready to kill somebody because this isn't a knife video. Now if that's the case, let me offer a little bit of advice. Talk it out with your house plants before you do anything you're going to regret. About a month and a half ago, you might have seen my Redeemed Creations keychain and my Going Gear EDC Club review. Nope, didn't watch it. Well, they offered to send me one of their wallets, so uh, I chose the classic bifold style that I like, or more specifically their big bifold and Horwee and Dublin English tan for handsome big boys with good credit. You may or may not know I've been carrying my Popov traditional leather wallet for years now. And there's nothing wrong with it, but I figured a lighter color would age real nicely smashed up against my butt for 8 to 10 hours each day. I don't mind telling my viewers I am a lazy man. So in wall terms, I'm old-fashioned. I like them made from thick leather, and in theory they could carry cash. So the bifold style works well for me. I once carried the minimalist Phil's wallet for a few months, but since I'm a maximalist, my 8 to 12 cards didn't work in it. Also, I can't really handle front wallets. I need space for my big-ass iPhone 11 Pro Max Magnum Extended, and let's say a small pocket knife, too. Let's look at some quick measuring specs here, using some of the advanced blue line technology the channel's known for. Got it opened up here. Should help you answer, is it too thick for your back pocket? Well, didn't seem like it the last time I tried on your pants while you were out of the house, but that's my opinion. What works for me may not work for you. Redeemed Creations does make a lot of minimalist wallets too, with less uh, flaps than those weird front wallets that people like. So looking at the big bifold, it's a little bit of an unusual design, which, you know, I'm sure is often said about me. Normal bifolds open up horizontally, and that's how the cards and the cash are laid out. You definitely need somebody on YouTube to point these things out for you. But the big bifold opens up vertically with two card pockets for each side. That I carry about 10 of my cards in, which I had to remove because of PII, not like there's any money in the accounts anyway, and on either side an additional pocket where you would have to fold a few bills to stash them. And the design brings up an important conversation on butt feel. While at first it was hard for a simple YouTube artist like myself to wrap his head around a vertically opened wallet, meaning you carry it long ways in your back pocket, turns out my butt had no problem wrapping itself around it, feeling pretty much the same as a regular old wallet. At work or at home, when I'm inert for hours at a time, I often remove my wallet anyway from my back pocket. This hand-cut, hand-stitched wallet has a thick and durable construction. The big bifold is as well made as the Popov, but at $55 shipped in the USA, it's about $30 less. I know it's not that $10 fancy Michael Kors Black Friday outlet mall special you throw out every three years, currently in your back pocket, but the Redeemed Creations is going to last you for decades or the rest of your life, even if the virus doesn't get you first. And if it does, on the bright side, maybe your kids will fight over it. Okay, you know what, it's a wallet. They probably won't. Of course, they also make keychains, which I've been carrying for, you know, a while now. and make for a great temporary clip on the belt when my pockets are full of phones and knives. I didn't think it would ever come to a point where I'd clip keys on the belt. Well, but uh, I guess I'm that guy now. And Bardo knows what's up with the jangling keys. Check out links in the description to the Redeemed Creations website and their Instagram, which is a pretty active feed featuring all of their leather goods and some pocket dump porn. All stuff there is made by a single guy here in the USA. So you're supporting a very small business. Anyway, if you like this sort of review, subscribe to the channel. Say hi to the patrons. Bardo's in there somewhere. Click that bell. Follow me on Instagram and uh, check out Redeemed Creations website. Then buy one of my t-shirts and or stickers because I commanded you to or neither of them. Thanks for watching.